friends welcome to the art cake experience channel i am christina and i'm very happy to have you all here today i will be making uh, this um galaxy theme uh painting on top of black sugar paste using dust. My dear friend Rosa Laura Sainz Castro, an amazing sugar artist that does this beautiful stained glass work, edible stained glass work in Mexico, sent me this precious gift of many, many um, dust, sugar dust. Uh, they're shiny, some of them are shiny, some of them are not, but I want to try the shiny ones and I thought we could do a galaxy theme. I tried out on a little piece of sh black sugar paste, uh, but I want to do it, I want to add a little more of the pinks and the blues so we can have uh, a, a clearer look at or galaxy. Also the stars, I made them with a white marker. What happened was the dust and the darkness of the sugar paste end up uh, losing the, the white of the of the markers. So we're going to do it now. I'm going to try to do it differently with a white gel coloring food. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a piece of black sugar paste. I like to try it out first on, on a cardboard or just roll out a little piece of black sugar paste like I did here instead of directly on your cake because you want to know that it really works. I'm going to be using two tones of each, two tones of blue, two tones of pink, one of lilac, um, a, um, silver dust, and I'm also going to be using white, but this is not, this is not metallic, it's just white dust, just to give some accents here and there. I'm also going to be using soft brushes, very, very soft hair brushes. I'm probably going to be using this one because it's rounder, so it's easier for me to uh, work with the dust and also to blend the dust together, but they have to be very soft, not too, um, they cannot be hard. And I'm also going to be using this. This is an all makeup brush that I only use for the silver one. On the top, when we finish, we're just going to go and give it some shining with this, uh, this brush. This brush is also going to help us with the, um, with the blending of the colors. So I recommend to have a soft makeup blush brush. <laughs> so you can use it for this kind of work. So I hope you stay with me. Let's see how this turns out. And uh, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, please ask me below and I'll gladly answer. Thank you so much, stay tuned and let's do it. Okay, so to start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the not shiny white dust because it's going to be like the center of my galaxies and another thing that you need is paper towels many paper towels because this is going to be you're going to have like glitter and shining everywhere after this and also i keep a little bit of uh cornstarch just to clean the brush because you're not going to use water you're just going to use cornstarch to clean the water. So we're going to start with the white one. I'm just going to take a little bit, tap it here to remove the excess, and you can also tap it on top of the paper. So I'm going to start with a circle, like a white circle. This is going to be like the center of my galaxies. I'm going to make a couple, maybe a bigger one. This is big and very white. I didn't clean this much, as you can see. And this is going to be the center of the galaxies that I'm going to make. Okay, I think I'm gonna make one more around here. I'm trying to make them in the same direction because these are the centers of the galaxies. Later on with, with the rest, I'm going to move them a little bit more. What you can do is just clean up your brush and start smoothing the edges, right, of those galaxies and blending the color. Good, now I'm going to move to the, as you can see here, I started with the white, then I'm gonna move on to the pinks, but I want these pinks to be more alive because in this piece, you cannot see the pinks very much. I'm going to start with the, with the lighter shade of pink. Just tap it here to clean your brush a little bit. And I'm going to go around the 
galaxy that I made, but not like completely. Maybe here in one side. Maybe here I'll do it in the other side. As you can see, it didn't take any more because this is light already. So I want this to be lighter as well. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of this and I'm going to do this one here. Your, soft, your brushes have to be quite soft so you don't leave any markings in the in the sugar paste. Okay, now I'm going I'm moving to a darker shade of pink. This is like fuchsia, as you can see here next to it. This is way, way darker. And I'm going to go around the one that I just did. Now it looks like a big mark, and then I'm gonna spread it out just to give this fluidity to the galaxies. Let me just take a little bit more. This one is gonna go this way. Like this one, I put it that way. I'm gonna put it this way. Make it blend, it may be blended a little bit more. Okay, let me just take a little bit more here. And going around with this one. And maybe this one will go down here. I'm just going to add some like pink stains around here because there's nothing here. So that's this will give some depth into into our galaxy sky is not a sky but the galaxy. These galaxy theme cakes are really fun and I think they're really pretty and easy to make. So now I'm going to move on to the blue ones. Let me just clean the brush and we'll be right back. So to clean the brush, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to put my brush into some uh, cornstarch, okay? So you can see the cornstarch is turning a little bit pink and then clean it on a paper, okay? A little bit more, we need more cleaning. So you can use, it's okay because you want a gauge to blend, so it's okay if you have a little bit of pink with the blue, it's gonna go, or with the purple, because they're all between the same shades purples, blues, and pinks, but it's always good to keep your brush as clean as you can. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the lilac color. This this one. I just, uh, this is very, when you put it in the black, it's gonna be quite similar to the pink, only more, it's like more shine into it, but you really cannot see much difference on tones, right? It's not a darker shade of, of purple. I'm, I'm just not following a pattern, as you can see. I just go here and there and try to put these colors together. Like here, for example, there's not much here, so we can go this way here. Okay, and maybe add some, something around here and there. Okay, what I'm going to do now, because this is starting to look quite chunky, is with the soft makeup brush, I'm just going to try, just by passing through it, try to blend. Look that I'm doing this circular movements because this is the movement of the galaxy. So this way I'm just blending the colors together, right? Like this is the movement that I want my galaxy to have galaxy cake so i'm just blending together you can also use a smaller brush uh let's say something like this and just try to blend it together there's some makeup blending brushes that are really good for this okay so you just try to blend the colors together and finally we're going to move on to the blue colors of the galaxy okay of gloss. i'm not cleaning the brush this time because uh from the purple to the blue it's not going to be very different 
are much different. Uh, I'm going to use two shades of blue. We're going to start with the darker one closest to the center. So I'm going to go in. In this case, I'm really going to try to blend it into what I'm doing. Because I really want this to look like a like a night sky. It's not really a night sky. As a night sky is a galaxy, but this is too much, so I'm just going to blend this here. Maybe add a little here inside of here so you don't see these tones. So I'm just going around and around, blending and creating more movement into this galaxy theme. See that I'm doing the circular movements? It's because this color is quite dark and I just want it to blend very well with the others. Now I'm going to try to push this here so it kind of brings these two together. Maybe this here, I can add some blues here and here as well. Just trying to bring this this stains in the middle of the sky together, right? Get a little bit more. As you can see, we're not using much. So this is really good when you're doing a whole cake because you're not gonna spend a lot of material. You're gonna use a lot of your material, right? So it's an option, instead of painting, instead of airbrushing, you can use dust to create this effect. Okay, I'm going to use the big brush now again, and I'm just going to blend this all together. Remember to keep giving the movement of whatever you're doing in your design, if it is uh, diagonal movement, move it diagonal. If it's circular, move it circular because this way the colors will blend even better. So just go around and do this. I think we need some white in here, but we're going to do it later. Now I'm going to clean this a little bit with the cornstarch like I've been doing before. Just a little bit because now we're going to use some very light blue so i'm going to start like trying to give some shimmer between the blues that i have here to some some shine between the blue and the other colors that i have like here i think i'm going to start some circular thing here just to because it's too Now around the other blue, like here, here and there, take a little bit more. Okay. Again, with my big brush, I'm just going to blend this again. some pinks in here maybe I'm going to do a little another little one here okay with a uh, pinks first now some blue and some dark blue was too empty in there. So now I'm 
just going to blend this in a circular movement and go the other way. Okay, so we have some sort of planets here. Look at this. Maybe some white in here as well. This is too empty. Oh, this is blue now. <laughs> it's okay. Let me just clean the brush a little bit more. I'm going to change this paper. I'm just cleaning right now with the um, with the cornstarch. And I'm going to add some purple to this one here. This purple is quite shiny on top of the black. And maybe some dark blue. It needs pink. Let me just get the smaller brush to get some pink details here and there. Need some pink around here. Good. I would like it better. Perfect. Now I'm going to blend it again. Perfect. If you want to add a little bit more, like I did with the brush here, if you feel like oh, it needs a little bit more of pink in here, just make sure you blend it, right? There you go. Or in here, for example, I'm going to add some touches of pink around here. Just blend it, maybe some blue in here. And just make sure you blend it. And this is the basic idea of the galaxy. This is you can this is something you can do on top of a cake. Now to complete it, I'm going to add the stars and some uh, shine and shimmer on top of it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add some shine everywhere. Um, not too much on top because this is already quite shiny. So I'm taking a little bit with the soft brush of the silver shiny dust and I'm just going to brush around the black just to give the illusions, but not, don't go directly into it because it will look white. And so just tap it on your paper and go around just to give the illusion of more shine. I don't know in the camera if you can see. I'm going to make it closer. I'm going to show you closer so you can see the shine of this. This is shining a lot. This is great. I don't know if you can see how shiny this is. Look, it's really, really, really shiny. It's really beautiful. And now for the final details, the stars. Okay, so I'm going to use a very thin brush I'm using, uh, this is uh, from my Cerart, uh, Cerart set of brushes, which I love. I do not endorse anything, but I just say because I love it. So I'm taking the white, right? Let me just do this here. Taking directly the white. That's why you have to put all the dust before, because this is not going to be dissolved with anything. Uh, you just have to place it and wait for it to dry. And I'm just going to tap some stars here and there. You can, if you have like an old brush, you can also take the brush and just brush it on top. But I like this way. I can control it a little bit more. Even though I'm just going around with this. But... I feel that I can control more and just splashing. Like I do some close ones, some more separate ones. I just get a little bit more. Maybe you can do some that are more, that, um, that you can see better. <laughs> They're not so pale and some little ones. So this will look like, and you can go on top of your, of your, like, if you do it as small ones, it looks like they're farther away. If you do big ones, it looks like it's closer to you. Hmm. Let me just move it around so I don't pass on top of it. So I'm just going to go and tap all around this. 
maybe some groups of little ones and big ones and there you go like if you see a space that is too empty or has too much black on it to go ahead and and do this uh, create this pattern which is really cool so this is just uh you can practice like this on top of a piece of sugar paste like i did here i did this first practice and as you can see this is way more defined than this because i was just practicing this was marker and you can see the difference between these stars and these stars you can see them more so it's good to practice before you go ahead and do it on the real cake or you could damage your work i'm gonna make a few big ones here and there so you can see them better this is looking so cool i can't imagine like a like a whole cake with maybe some some wafer paper cells or i don't know or an astronaut or an alien going around <laughs> that'd be cool uh, yeah, maybe I can do it. Maybe we can do an alien for next for next uh, video on top of this. We'll do that. That will be for next week. Okay, guys, you can do little stars like shiny stars. I'm going to try not to mess this up. Just go very quickly with a very thin line like this. So you make little stars here and there. They're shiny. I think I like it better without the stars. But anyway, so you can see another option that you can be doing. And it looks cool anyway. Oops. Be careful because this, this type of white gel coloring food doesn't is not absorbed by the sugar paste. You just have to wait for it to dry. You can do it also using dust and um, cocoa butter. That will dry faster and you will have the same intensity in the color, right? Just add some more here and there. And that's it, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna mess it up. Guys, this is how you paint a galaxy theme background on black sugar paste using dust colors, shiny dust colors. Guys, I hope you really, really liked this one. I really enjoyed it. I'm very thrilled with the result and probably I'm going to be using it for a cake that I have coming up. And it's a promise I'm going to be making an alien for this sky in this universe. <laughs> so next week we will have an alien here at the YouTube, at my YouTube channel, The Art Cake Experience channel. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.